Hey, got a little bit of shameless self-promotion for you before we get started. This past weekend, I posted a new video over on the Vlogs and Stuff channel. It was a new installment in the series I've posted here before where I try to cook things, and it turns out um, not necessarily the greatest, but people seem to have enjoyed the video so far, so I thought I'd mention it here. And also, I don't know, by the time this goes up, there might also be a new video about like when I hit 10 million subscribers and stuff, a vlog of that day. So anyway, top link in the description. Check it out if you want, and enjoy the show. Welcome back to WTF, one of the uh, riskier subreddits in our repertoire. Some of these might not make it onto YouTube, but hey, let's get into things. We'll start down here with the Mayfly Hatch in central Wisconsin. Always a fan of lots of insects at once. No, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna not go there. Sorry, central Wisconsin, if any of you are from there. I've just canceled that off of my list of places to visit. That reminds me of actually there was a, a moment in my life, well, it was more than one moment, it was like a few days where I had a large amount of flying ants in one little hallway area right outside my room and my mom's room at our house growing up. It was horrifying and that's 20 times worse. You, nope, I'm good, no, I'm, wow. Poor gas station, they must be uh, hard to find business at that time. What happens when you pour washer fluid into the engine? Probably not good things, whoa. Why would you go and do a thing like that though? Wow, it's actually kind of cool. But also, I think your engine's done. Whew. That reminds me of the time that I accidentally put dish soap in my uh, dishwasher. Don't do that. It's bad. It's you don't. It's just not a good thing. Um, only put dishwasher liquid in there. Don't don't put dish soap. They looked the same. They were both blue. And I wasn't thinking and I just grabbed the wrong one, not really paying attention. And then it was it was bad. It was suds all over the place. And it took like 10 times rinsing the thing out or running the cycle to um, get rid of it. And I thought I was just gonna have to buy a new dishwasher, but we're good now. Stop for pedestrians. Oh God, this is making me nervous by the title. Don't, don't, don't hit, don't hit. Oh boy, that was a close one. Oh, thank goodness. Thank goodness. I was like, all right, I don't want to be, I don't want to be on like watch people die here. That's, that's not my thing. Not into that one. Holy crap. Ladies and gentlemen, this is why when you see a car stop in the lane next to you, even if you don't know why they're stopping, you stop. Because oftentimes there's a reason for their stopping. And God forbid, if they just happen to be stopping for no reason, then you lost a few seconds, but at least you didn't kill someone. Especially right at a crosswalk. Well, you see it's a crosswalk. The person's probably stopping because someone's, cr oh God. At the same time, yes, obviously the people crossing the crosswalk should not make any assumptions and should probably see, oh, that truck's moving pretty fast. Maybe we should stop. Yeah, whew. Just be careful when you're going across crosswalks. Be very careful. Obviously not the people's fault, but still be vigilant. Better to be alive than to be dead and be like, well, hey, it was the truck's fault. Jumping a whale. Yo, are you gonna jump? How is this WTF if you actually jump over a whale? That's gonna be the sickest thing I've seen all month. Is he smoking a cigarette as he's... <laughs> why is he, why is he kiteboarding like this? Dude, that's gnarly. That's not even WTF. That's just, that's shredding the gnar. Oh my God, that was pretty cool. I wonder what the whale was trying to do, because whales don't like try to eat people. It's just like, oh look, I think I'll breach for air here, just in front of this thing that's moving along the top of the water. Why not? Seems like a good place to do it. Dude, that's a heck of a clip. Bravo. Bravo. He like ollied right over it. That was sick. $24.99. What a deal. The cure for all cancers, including over a hundred case histories of persons cured. Wow plus two revolutionary electronic circuits. Do it yourself. It's the do it yourself kit. Who needs oncologists and multi-billion dollar hospitals with research and all that when you got this for $24.99? This is it, ladies and gentlemen. It solves everything. It's just, this is what the hospitals don't want you to know about because it would disrupt their entire industry. It would disrupt the entire insurance industry and everything if everybody just knew the secret. Just those little electric circuits and zapping. All you needed, who knew? Who knew? And it says, oh, new research findings show there is a single cause for all cancers. This book provides exact instructions for their cure. Honestly though, how do you get away with selling something like that? Is there like some asterisk somewhere, some fine print that's like, by the way, this is also a fantasy novel and that's how they can get away with it like through the FCC or something like that because it seems like um 
False advertising. Yeah, it's kind of scumbaggy. It's like super scumbaggy. It just preys on people who are like gullible for that kind of thing. Meanwhile, in Florida. Oh, yep, Florida man pets alligator. It doesn't work out too well for him. I don't know why you... Okay. So, oh. Yeah, you know, just a uh, regular old family outing at the crocodile pond. Just uh, spices things up a little bit. You gotta speed swim out of the water and and then, yeah, just, they're, they're friendly. Why are you tapping? I guess it's a it's an alligator, not a crocodile. Crocs are more aggressive. Um, why are you just tapping it with your foot? God, jeez. Maybe they're all like gator whisperers, right? They can actually talk to the gators and they're like friendly with them. And it's this whole symbiotic relationship. Uh, ballet bending. It's like the new air bending or something like that. It just, it just like keeps going. It just keeps going. Does it ever stop? Okay, okay. it's like, uh, your foot is, is like uh, its own entity, able to do things beyond what the human mind can instruct its muscles to do. Hold up, hold up. Let's see how flexible we are here, folks. Let's compare. Hey, the bottom of my feet aren't that dirty. All right, that would have been embarrassing. Oh, yeah, there we go. Look at that. Look at that flexibility. I think I should be a... A ballet dancer. I can do that. God, jeez. I was I was pretty close, I think, honestly. It was just because I had to like lift my foot up to the camera that it, it interrupt, like if I could just stick my legs straight. Yeah, look, down there. Yeah, no, I got that flexibility, don't you worry. It, it's happening right now. Antarctic worm species called Eulogisca gigantine. Yes, that. Dude, other than the face, that's actually, dude, that worm has gone super saiyan. Like, <laughs> I don't know, the worm equivalent to Frieza just murdered its entire family and it was like, no, I will not stand for this. It's like, no, my glacier is melting, Super Saiyan. <laughs> like that is this freaking Super Saiyan worm. Jesus Christ, that's insane. Tornado debris trail near Kalamazoo last night. Whoa. That's like some woe dude stuff, as well as, ooh, there's more. It's like some DNA strands going up into the sky. I hope everyone's okay. All right, I will, I'll let me throw that out there, but wow, that's insane. Oh my God, I wonder what it was picking. Like, is that actually just a bunch of items or is that it's actually picking up some long continuous strand of something? I'm curious. Nature is crazy, man. Clearing out built up sludge in pipes. Wait, is there, wait, what's the, is there more WTF to come on this? Oh, oh, oh yeah, oh there it goes, oh god. I feel like Popping would love this one. Should, like check up on that subreddit, that's like the, that's like the ultimate pimple pop right there. Jesus Christ. Dude, I have mad respect for anyone who works in plumbing. Just going into pipes and cleaning out poop. I could never ever do that. It's just like when I, when people have had to work on my sewage sump pit at my house, I'm just like, I'm gonna stand over here 30 feet away so I'm not actually making eye contact with any of what you're working on because I just don't want to see it. And like, they don't even, they're not even wearing like a gas mask or something. They're just doing, they're just going in there. And I'm like, huh, I'm good. I don't want to even look at it, let alone smell it. Next up, lightning struck this fishing rod. Whoa! Is that really what happened? Hey, at least it, I guess no one was holding on to it. It was just mounted inside a something getting pulled behind the boat. That, so that's good. You know, I suppose casting a fishing rod in a lightning storm is, is perhaps not the wisest of decisions. So I'm glad that someone wasn't doing that or they probably wouldn't be feeling too great. Can you imagine though? Like if that happens to a fishing rod, how does anyone survive getting hit by lightning? How do you not just explode? Can you imagine the inside of your body turning into that? Like, you're not walking away. It's not gonna work. How do people survive? There must be some extenuating circumstance when people survive lightning strikes to where it like was able to like, get out quickly enough before it went through their entire body or I don't know. I don't know the physics behind lightning hitting humans, but that's crazy. 
What is making that noise underneath the floor? Let, let's see, on the... Oh! Oh! Oh, that's a bear. Yeah, that's, um... Pest control is not gonna be able to handle that one. Probably not gonna work. Do, oh god, is that like a bear with its cubs? Cause dude, that's a bear with its cubs? You gonna die. Mama bears don't mess around when it comes to their cubs. Holy crap. Like, what would you even do? I guess you would have to call animal control and they, like, tranquilize the thing and then pull it out. <sighs> that SWAT, though. How do you even... Dude, after I saw that SWAT, I'd be out of there. I'd be like, no, we're leaving. I'm not staying here. I've seen what bears can do to cars and massive metal garbage cans. Like, that thing can break through my floor at any moment if it wants to and grab me and eat me. I'm good. Bird hits space shuttle. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, it's gonna get incinerated. Jeez. It's crazy. It like the space shuttle when it takes off, it just it hardly looks like it's even moving at all. Maybe it wasn't even moving that quickly and the bird just like got domed. I was like, alright, I'm dead now. Well that's a bummer. You know, it's a good thing it happened right at the bottom, because I bet you if it was going at like 20,000 miles an hour or however fast it ends up going and it hit a bird, it would be catastrophic failure for the space shuttle. Like, that would not be good. The, the entire thing would probably get penetrated, like the shell of the thing. I don't know how much impact they designed the space shuttle to be able to withstand, but like when you have debris that's orbiting the Earth, that stuff's going so fast that it'll just... It'll just go like right through you. If you got hit by space debris that was orbiting the Earth, it's just like, Nyerp. you ever seen gravity? When you don't respect the recoil of a high caliber gun. Whoa! Oh my god! <laughs> Dude looks like Elastic Man. That looks like some ragdoll video game physics. Oh my god, you're gonna be sore tomorrow with the huge bruise. Holy crap! His shoulder goes back and the rest of his face just stays in place. It's like, ew. I'm actually gonna be in uh, Las Vegas in a, a couple days. Maybe I should go train uh, at a firing range there so that doesn't happen to me. That's gnarly. Just bail. It's a sweet pun. You're gonna get hit by it. Yep, that's a thing. Whoops. That That's gonna hurt for a few days. I don't actually, like, why would you even attempt that? Why, like, what, why would you, why would you, why would you ever think that could end well? Like, okay, you're, you're successful at it. You jumped over a hay bale. Like, I don't think anyone is going to be particularly like, wow, you're a god, dude. Let's, Jesus, you're the most amazing person I've ever seen in my entire life. I can't believe I'm friends with you. And then on the downside, this happens. And I don't think it was worth it unless, you know, sweet internet views and karma points, which are pretty important. So maybe you did it for that. Maybe you had no plans of making it over. You were just like, you know what? This will go viral if I fail. And it did. So congratulations. Top of the month on WTF. That's a big accomplishment. Well, anyway, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed. Make sure to like if you like. Check out the playlist in the description. If you uh, want to check out more of these Reddit-related videos and subscribe if you're not already. If you want to listen to uh, new music on Marin Music, link in the outro and the description. I'll see you next time. Yeah.